I'm here with Colin, who's for all intents and purposes been the past, present and future leader of this youth club. So Colin, uh, firstly the past, how has how has Heather Set Youth Club changed over the years? Well, I first joined it when the hall was just been finished off in 1984 when I moved into Heather Set and been with it ever since and I've seen it. It's ups and downs, it's high lights, it's low lights. Um, we've had good times, we've had big committees, small committees, small clubs, big clubs, um, up and down, all roller coaster. And um, what do you think this project will do for Heatherset? I just think this youth club will play a vital role within the community. It's so important that young people have a, a place to come, whether it's to actually do um, activities or just to catch up with friends or maybe do homework. It's just lovely to have somewhere away from the home where you can meet your friends and chill out and have a good time and know that it's a safe Joining environment. Us. Um, so firstly, what, does the, what, does the imp what will the impact of the youth club have on the community of Heatherset? I think it'll have a, a fantastic impact because at the moment we haven't got much sort of youth facility, um, so it's, it's going to have a, a great impact and it'll be a, a great. I'm here with Warren Martin and Julia Harper. So, guys, uh, what uh, what has your uh, role been in setting up the youth club? Well, I haven't done much yet, but I've been helping at clubs for four years, and I hope to get involved with the youth club. Brilliant. Uh, what about you? What has your been? Your, what has your involvement uh, been with the youth club so far? Well, that, I will wish to help with the IT side of the youth club because I enjoy it a lot and I've in, I'm doing a course and it's so all. Aaron, help what me will you be life. doing uh, to help the youth club once it's set up and running? Well, I'm willing to help on the leader program, be trained as a leader too. So how did you guys find out about the youth club? Um, Fiona told us. Um, we're the only two kids that sort of came along and we put down our ideas of what we want to be in the youth club. And is good. Yeah. I'm here with uh, Robin, Nick, Joe. Thanks for joining us, guys. Now, uh, you guys are quite obviously uh, members of the orchestra. What sort of things would you like to see happen to the youth club and in the youth club for you guys? I'd like to see a lot of um, children like join and have some fun and get included. Really. What sort of ideas do you do you two have for the club? Um, well, we came here on the open day, and then there was that um, board where you could put down your ideas. And loads of kids um, put them and put their eyes dip and put their ideas down. So hopefully, um, at least half of them will get um, recognised. What sort of ideas were these that people put down? Well, I think um, like games nights or something like that, and uh, a few uh, like after school clubs or something like that. I think. Brilliant! Thanks for joining us, guys. Coordinator for the Hillerset Cluster. Thank you. So, what has been your involvement in setting up the youth club? I've been working with the committee and I'm actually on the committee for the last 12 months and um, I link in with all the seven schools in the area including Heatherset High School and the junior schools as well as Marbarton, Little Melton and Cringleford and I've been sort of for the point of contact for the schools and the committee itself in the community. So I've been working with them, working with the um, groups in the schools to see what the children actually want because this is for them and this is their voice and what they would like in here. This is Josh Worley for Sanaya Radio. I'm here with Mr Beverly Spratt who is the chair of South Norfolk Council. Good morning. Good morning. What a fantastic morning again for us. Yes, indeed. Uh, now, uh, obviously, this is the relaunch of the Heatherset Youth Club. Um, what does this mean for the young people of Heatherset? Well, I hope that means a good start for them and that will encourage them to do other things. I mean, there's an enormous amount of things you can do, get organised uh, for the young people at Heatherset. Uh, with the leaders and what have you, you can have all sorts of field sports and all sorts of things you can go canoeing and all this. And this just gives you a chance to go into new areas which the young people at Heatherset haven't visited yet. Councillor Stella Rice. Uh, here at the Heatherset Youth Club. Thank you for joining us. It's a real pleasure. I'm really delighted to be here. It's fantastic. So how have you worked to get the Heatherset Youth Club uh, up and running again? Well, it's been quite a long project, actually. Um, however, they've been working on it for just over a year and raised nearly £50,000 in one year, which I think is a phenomenal amount. And it's really been down to the community spirit to get this sorted. And it's just a fantastic um, event, really, today. Can I start off by apologising for the lack of voice? You might all have to move slightly closer. If you were watching Lucise last night, um, you may have saw that my voice almost went all together during the five-day forecast. So I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't sound the best. But um, it is a real pleasure to be here today to witness um, the fruition of all the hard work that's gone on 
from Gillian and the team. It is an incredible achievement. And this building is so important in a community. It will really help community spirit. It's so vital that young people have somewhere to come and use, but it also brings everybody together. So, um, and as I said, I'm absolutely delighted to be here um, to do the honours of the reopening. Um, I know there's a little bit of fundraising still to go, a little bit of the journey, but you have achieved so much in so little time, so you must be incredibly proud, and um, I know it won't be long before the last little bits no. will have been done. So well done, and basically, I, I guess I should take those. I really love the pink ribbon, that's fantastic. So now I can officially claim that the Jubilee Youth Club is now officially reopened. I find it quite amazing that it's just over a year ago that we met together in this place to start to talk about the vision of what we hope to achieve here. And a year on, it's remarkable the journey that we've covered in that time. But it's not just been about fundraising and doing building work. I think it's very important when we just look around the room today that, that we see young people from the schools both entertaining us but also present among us today. We, we see that we've got folk from the church community, from the, the councils, with the police represented here, with people from across the community. And what I find amazing is that this project has not just been about building a building and, and renovating a building, it's been about building the community. And, and for the young folk here, this is a facility for, for you to use. And, and we hope that in the, in the weeks and months that lie ahead, that this is somewhere that you'll feel at home, that you'll be able to express yourself in the ways that you want to do. And this may be something that is for you to do with as you would like to do. I think it is important to thank the people that have been involved. Colin has been a great inspiration to us. It, it was always his hope that we might be able to move forward with work with young people in this village in a similar way, but in a fresh way to what's been done over many years. And, and so we have a great debt of gratitude to Colin. We also have a great debt of gratitude to, to Gillian and to Norman and to the other members of the committee who really have worked tirelessly through this last year to get us to the point we're at now. And today isn't the end. Today is the beginning of what lies ahead. So thanks to all of those involved. It's a great achievement for this community to have come together in this way to create this facility. And it's not just going to make a huge difference to the younger people here, but to everybody in the village, because it's going to be able to be a focal point for people to, to meet and, and to contribute. I've um, worked across the county in um, many of different um, parishes and I must say that one of the issues that I've come across is facilities for younger people to get together. Some of the parishes, they can't even get a, a bus shelter. They can't even get a bus shelter for the younger people and, and I hate to say it but the community doesn't even support the younger people. I was at a parish council meeting where the younger people all came to the parish council meeting and there must have been about 30 or 40 of them saying, please can we have a facility? Please can we have some, somewhere to go? And the parish council wanted to support them and financially and in, in other ways, but it was the community that wasn't behind them. So you should be really proud of what you've achieved. You really should. On be behalf proud. of the parish council, I would like to congratulate the committee for all their work over the past year and the progress that they have made. Over many years, the Parish Council has been very supportive of the Youth Club in Heatherset, and uh, to that end, this is a continuation of that support. I'd like to present you with a cheque for £5,000 from the Parish Council, uh, particularly uh, to go towards the improvement of disabled facilities. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>